Are you interested in knowing whether polyphasic sleeping is dangerous? In the last video in the series we talked about how an altered circadian rhythm structure caused by an altered sleep schedule could show that polyphasic sleeping is dangerous. In this video we'll talk about the buildup and cleanup of beta amyloid which is a waste product produced by the brain and how it is affected by altering your sleep schedule. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Crimson Flower and I'm a main author of polyphasic.net, the community recommended resource for polyphasic sleepers. So the topic for today's video is the buildup of beta amyloid. The issue here is that when the brain is working, it's also producing waste material, which needs to be cleared out every now and then. A process responsible for clearing out the beta amyloid is made possible via cycles of the glymphatic system, where the brain literally shrinks in size to allow fluid to drain there. And why are we talking about the glymphatic system? Well, the thing here is that the speed at which the system clears out the beta amyloid waste can be affected by the sleep stage you're in. So where does the root of the skepticism arise? Will polyphasic sleep alter the rate at which the brain clears out the waste material? The answer is most likely no. See, when we look at the specifics here, uh, it turns out that the sleep stage where most of the waste is cleared out or where it's cleared out the fastest is the slow wave sleep stage. During slow wave sleep, the waste clearing of the glymphatic system is working around twice as fast as when you're awake. As we established in the previous videos in the series, an adapted polyphasic sleeper should not have reduced durations of slow wave sleep. Because of this, excess amyloid beta support shouldn't build up after you've adapted to your schedule. There's also another aspect to consider here, which is that polyphasic sleepers sleep more often than monophasic sleepers. What this means is that there's going to be a possibility for multiple high-speed cleaning cycles or the cycles that happen during SWS uh, to happen within a shorter time frame than when you're only sleeping during the night. See, if you have multiple blocks of slow wave sleep scattered throughout the day, like if we use the siesta cycle for as an example, uh, it's going to have slow wave sleep during the night core and slow wave sleep during the day core, then less amounts of this amyloid beta is allowed to build up before a high speed cycle goes on and clears out large parts of it. What this could mean is that, one, it turned out that light sleep was also responsible for an increased rate that the glymphatic system is working at. Um, and this fact that polyphasic sleepers have these multiple sleep segments could show that it's not worse than monophasic sleep and about on the same level. Or two, if only slow wave sleep is responsible for the cleaning of amyloid beta, uh, polyphasic sleepers could actually be more healthy in this regard because they're both getting all the slow wave sleep that they need and also clearing out the buildup of beta amyloid more frequently than monophasic sleepers are. So how should a skeptic go on debunking polyphasic sleep on this topic? The easiest way would be to show that um, light sleep is responsible for faster cleaning rates of waste in the brain and that this isn't accounted for by sleeping in multiple chunks during the day. Okay, in the next video in this series we will talk about appetite changes and weight gain and how this could suggest that polyphasic sleepers are actually sleep deprived. If you're interested in that, I suggest that you subscribe so you don't miss when that video is released. And I'll be seeing you in a future video. Remember to have pleasant naps, people! Hey, I'm Akka Hana, an editor on this channel. If this video matters to you, click the subscribe button and the bell icon to get the latest info on mastering your sleep. We want to help you work towards the life you want on your terms and in your time. Please consider donating via Ask Your Ko-fi page as this helps sustain website costs and data gathering efforts across our communities. If you have any questions, check the links below and contact us directly. Thank you.